My name is Matt Heron. I'm a postdoctoral fellow in the zoology department, and my main interest is in the evolution of multicellularity. Uh, I study the vulvacine algae, which is vulvox and its close relatives, and they're a model system for the evolution of multicellularity and cellular differentiation. And the reason they're a good model system is that they span the whole range from single cells to completely differentiated multicellular organisms and include just about every intermediate state. One of the coolest things is the way that algae are spread throughout the whole eukaryotic tree of life. And various species of algae have diverged as long as one and a half or two billion years ago. To me, the main reason algae are important has to do with photosynthesis. Uh, photosynthesis is really a crucial process for life on Earth because it's the base of almost every food chain. With very few exceptions, everything that lives on Earth either photosynthesizes or eats things that photosynthesize or eats things that eat things that photosynthesize. The photosynthesis that happens on Earth is roughly split between the oceans and the land, about half and half. And within the oceans, it's about half and half between cyanobacteria and algae. So, Algae produce about a quarter of the primary productivity that happens on Earth. And it's not just the food that comes out of this, it's also the oxygen. So photosynthesis has totally changed our atmosphere, giving us the relatively high percentage of oxygen that's present today and that animals like us need to survive 